So I want to bring up this idea real quick here about the crushing of the testicles. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's all about the seed. It's all about the seed. And so we're going to use Abraham, an account here mm -hmm. to illustrate a point. And I know me, me people have probably read this set of scriptures, right? There's only a few that I'm going to use and it probably went over their heads. But this is about discussing and bringing these things out into the open. So let's, I'm going to read this real quick. Now, Abraham was old, well advanced in age, and Yahweh had blessed Abraham in all things. So Abraham said to the oldest servant of his house, who ruled that had dominion over all that he had, please put your hand under my thigh. That's what most translations say. Mm -hmm. However, in the Greek, it means on the soft part of my genitals or testicles. So a picture is Abraham sitting in a seat, I guess, of some sort, and he asked his best servant, who's in charge of everything that he owns and has commissions him and trust him with his possessions, to please come and take your hands and hold my testicles. Now, today, we would think that's very perverted. But you got to understand Abrahamic covenant concepts. you got to understand blood covenant contracts. There are things that they did back then that we don't do today in these cultures, mm -hmm. uh, but it had not a perverted meaning. It had a deep spiritual meaning because when that man held his testicles and he swore, well, let's go ahead and read some more here so we can see. And I will make you swear seven times, seven, the number of completion mm -hmm. by Yahweh, the Elohim of heaven and the Elohim of earth, that you will not take a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites among whom um, dwell, okay? So he had to hold Abraham's testicles because they are testimonies. Mm -hmm. Testicles come from the word testimonies. Uh, as a matter of fact, if we go back, I forgot to elaborate on that just for a minute. If you look at this picture here that I, that I made with Yahweh sitting on the throne, you have the two tablets of testimony beneath them in the ark in the ark those are representation of his testicles that are sitting on the mercy seat where the seed of life resides and that's why we're told that the commandments are the ayats kaim the tree of life it gives life it doesn't kill it, it, it would if you misuse it as any law okay but the point here is that the two tablets of stone are a resemblance or a, a, an archetype of his testicles, which is where the seed of life comes from. So let's go back here. I just wanted to show that real quick here. And so this man would have to hold his testicles and swear seven times he will not do what he has told him, please do not do. So what I get from that is, is that the seed of life, the authority that came from his testicles, Abraham's testicles, was delegated influence or authority to his servant. And if he broke those testimonies, or that testimony that he made, or that promise that he made to him, that vow that he made, okay, because vows are very serious, then there would have been serious consequences for him. Any thoughts on that at all? I'm, I'm looking at it like, which we'll read later, every, what we call parables. Mm -hmm. Everything that Yahweh does, he compares it to an earthly event, a physical event, but it has a spiritual concept to it, a spiritual meaning which he's trying to bring us to. You know, he's moving us from one place last right. week we talked about from glory to glory, glory, to glory from right. one glorious glorious state to another another glorious state but the concept is still the same but the meaning is a deeper meaning it came from outward to inward now and so whatever you allow inwardly is coming outwardly instead of cover being instead of being covered up right you know we put on different identities constantly to express to somebody who we are 
until we begin to open our mouth up and what really comes out <laughs> yeah, shows right, who you right. really are. Exactly. Oh, I thought this was that type mm -hmm. of person. And we see it all the time, especially in the body of Messiah. People pretending to be one thing, but then when they open up their mouth, you see a completely different person. Mm -hmm. And so this, this is what I'm getting out of this. Abraham wants Isaac to be of the same type he's been molded, the same mold mm -hmm. that he's been molded from. I want my son molded from this because if he joined to these Canaanites, he's going to take on a different identity. Amen. And that means that his seed will be crushed in that moment. Exactly. Because he's got other covenants mixed it, in. It's not no longer pure right, anymore. Right, 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 right. That's it? Yes, it. Yes. Okay. No, I'm glad you said that because that's exactly 